Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, so I've got matched against Pidpad here. Um, right, Pidpad's won OCC three times. Wow. And he's, he's one of the top dogs there. He's got a very nice team, hasn't he? Um, two, like, reliable blitzers. Thank God he doesn't have panning on. Uh, all right, thank you. Thank you, Jam Toast. Um, I'll have to do that. Um, but anyway, right, while I do that, oh yeah, they're not actually level. Wow, why weren't they level? I, I guess because I moved one one side to the other side is what it was. I moved like I swapped them around. But uh, yeah, back to Billy. Yeah, a lot of them aren't painted. Um, some of the paint ones that aren't in that picture though, so like, it's weird. I've got I've got a lot of I've got a lot of models and some are painted and some aren't. Um, right, so I'm not getting anything. He's got a thrower. I don't like his thrower here. See, this is why I don't like the thrower as well. This is a perfect example, right? He's got 39 star player points sunk into that thrower there, right? And wow, he hasn't even he hasn't even scummed 20k. Of course, I remember Devil and Mud. Yeah, is, is that no longer a, is that no longer a pain? Um, he's kind of the boss director. Yeah, yeah. Devil and Mud was for the fucking the an absolute legend, legendary pain. Yeah. Um, ugh. that's pathetic. <laughs> I guess they can't they can't copyright Mud. So. <laughs> um, yeah. I was a fucking legend. Hello, VIP Rance. This is well, by the way. A Hello, Toyo. Legend. Yeah, Hunky Tonk Throw. Yeah, like, this is the thing, you know, that's 39 star player points that he's stolen from Blitzers. So, like, while he's, uh. While his team's good. He's taking the early jump up here, hasn't he, for a pounding on guy? Um, like, it's not terrible. I mean, it, the rest of the team's built, built perfectly, isn't it, really? But with these extra 39 star player points. If they'd gone on blitzers, you know, he would have a panning on guy, wouldn't he? Nine would be a panning on guy. And then he'd have mighty blow on this guy and probably tackle on that guy as well or whatever. Or maybe he would have... Yeah, not, not much more, but he would have had a bit more, you know. That, that's why I think it's a bit, a bit shit to uh, take a thrower. TBH fans. Are you ready for the German? Hello. Yo. Uh, I don't care about blitzing any of these guys. I mean, maybe I should. Maybe I should go for a mighty blow hit on them. Um. But this is a 75% knockdown, isn't it? And don't get anyone stranded anyway. Does have frenzies, have to be a little bit wary of that. But, um. Yeah, that should be good, shouldn't it? Oh, got another guy here, that's, that's handy. Gonna be a bit fucked by a blitz here. But. Just gotta ask yourself, are you feeling lucky, punk? Thank God it's the side where there's a fleshy there, right? And not the side his frenzy is anyway. Thank you. 
safe blocks first. Then unsafe ones before protecting the ball. Smart. Put him in to protect the, the dog. And blitz with a dirty play. Oh yeah, burn. So that that gives that actually gives us the push away, doesn't it? That's what I was thinking. Whereas if I blitz with a if I blitz with the uh, Fleshy, although obviously it's a 1 in 36 to turn over. If I pushed him, I would have just still kept him in contact. Hello, Ducky. Hello, Putalin B. Uh, this is a bit, a bit of a scary kickoff, isn't it? You can probably put some pressure on here. 40 games every race in ladder. I've probably done that without accidentally by now. I guess I haven't been in this, don't you, teams? Chains, chains the wolf into a mighty blow hit anyway. Clever dingo. Oh. So weird playing somebody who's got a clue instead of instead of somebody terrible. <laughs> uh, let's not use that. That was a misplay from him. I guess he should have pushed into his guy so he could have got an extra blow. he thought I was going to stand for him. Hello VIP Pedro Jack. It was pretty scary now isn't it really with that. That wolf is just going to have to 3 plus away at the end of the turn. And uh, I'm going to have to do things to push him and then like 4 plus 2 plus out, push him twice and surf him, that would be good, wouldn't it? But I guess a bit unrealistic. Gotta be wary to jump up. Uh huh. There's the instant both down. Both down. Wasn't it? Oh. Thanks, Cyanide. <laughs> oh, lucky Pedro. Stunned him, which is pretty good, isn't it? Two stuns there, pretty lucky. Horrible having to use my reroll, but um, do I block him with or without? I mean, this is the guard's a bit isolated here, but I guess with a reroll gone, I've got to. Go for the safe move. <laughs> Don't really want to dodge him, do I? No. 
Good afternoon, Fatim. God, being able to stick the, the stand firm out there is pretty good, isn't it? that he's not blitzing with mighty blow. Oh wow, that's, that's always a treat. So he's given me the he's given me the the wolf free. I mean, this wolf free is better anyway, isn't it? He's got mighty blow. I mean, this is brainless, brainless as you can get, isn't it? Just making a two dice block first action. But there's nothing else I'm going to do with him. And get garden assist there to two dice him once he's taken care of. He can be taken care of by him hitting with an assist from this fleshy. Got somebody for the uh, for the for the dirty player to hit. I don't really want to though. Wolf can't really get anyone apart from going over to this side. Looks like I can because I'm a wolf. Maybe it's that last block I could have made a blitz. Well, he's won OCC three times apparently, so. Yeah. <laughs> Could foul this line. I don't want to foul a line orc. Fouling a guard guy would be really good. But, um. I just don't really see how I can benefit from it. <laughs> I gave him a chain by going there. He can one dice the ball now. But I, mean, I guess that's good, because he's, he's probably not going to take a one dice on a bodger. So, I guess I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, he's gone straight for it. <laughs> I'm much more concerned about protecting the, uh, protecting the werewolf. Which I guess I haven't done, because he's got the guard there. Mm. I was just, oh no, yeah, because I've got a guard here. So yeah, I protected the werewolf. That's more important than protecting the ball at this point, I think. Oh, my machine. Oh, Tom Brandhill. Uh, we haven't got the uh, we haven't got the fucking thing yet to sort out the lighting issue, um, but should have it sorted tomorrow. Uh, Tom Brandhill. <laughs> Hello, Crystal Hunter. Um, not doing too bad, thanks. But this is a bit of a Bit of a tough matchup, isn't it? Oh, this is I can I didn't have I didn't have learned skills. I hate not having learned skills on. Shame that I couldn't push forward more after getting that that crazy turn of all knockdowns 
I couldn't really do a lot with it, could I? Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna dodge for an assist and dodging GFI for an assist for two dice on the ball. Oh, well, I still don't think it's a threat, really. Shame he had to reroll because he didn't have block. <laughs> he wouldn't. He wouldn't have got us if he didn't have block. Oh well, he gets a Kaz. There you go. I don't think it's a. I think. <laughs> I don't think it's a threat. And there you go. Jump up got us. And uh, he's randomly got the ball there because I cared more about. I cared more about. Um, my wolf than the ball, which probably isn't such a good idea against somebody who's any good, is it? When you think about it. This is just a one -er. This must be two. Can't see what these players have, can I? That's a card. Oh, yeah. It's a GFI. Fuck. Oh, I've got to do it, haven't I? He's a bit of a threat, isn't he? That's that's problematic. Oh, really? An eye for an eye. But... Tricky, isn't it? I think I want to go back this way. Can I block this guy now. Up, up, base him. I, was, I think it was a bit harsh getting punished with a Kaz there. Like, I didn't mind him taking the ball. But the Kaz is a bit... A bit sad. How bad is a both down here? It's nowhere near as bad as, as how good a power would be. I guess it's the same same here as well. Maybe this guy should have come in there so I could have two dice him and then marked him with him. Oh, that's brutal crystal hunter. Oh, Kugel, no, it wasn't actually. Uh, I, I had hosted I had hosted somebody else, Murloc Joe, and he just finished. And then I saw you were streaming, so I hosted you. So, okay. Why, Jaleel? Because I was protecting my wolf. I was protect I thought protecting the wolf was more important than protecting the ball, because I thought he could only get one dice, but then I was caught out by... Oh, you haven't got the fucking audio! Oh, you motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Well, for the benefit of people watching at home... Who actually fucking have audio? The reason that I gave the uh, the reason that I gave the orcs the ball was um, I thought I was protecting the wolf instead, and now I've given up the wolf because I, I had kind of had to to get the ball back, and uh, I didn't care that he, I thought he was only getting one dice, which if he had one dice, he'd have rolled both down, rolled into both down, and he still had to roll some dice to get two dice on the ball anyway. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought getting the cas for it was a bit harsh. I really do. I thought that was a bit of a harsh punishment. We're doing too nice in the bar. And I 
Rafa got jump up. That was the crucial thing. I thought it was just one dice, so I didn't care. I literally didn't care because I thought it was one dice. But then it was two dice, and I did care. <laughs> right, I can foul him now. Which is interesting. I'm just having more strength and more guard is... Uh, is... a bit annoying, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Two assists is all, I'm, is all I'm gonna get, I guess. Oh, the fucking game fucked me. I wanted to be one square away. Holy shit. No need for that, is there? Might have to make a dodge here. Thank you very much, Vela Javier. Thanks for being sub for three months. Unbelievable, Jeff. Thank you very much. <sighs> Foul with plus two. Then dodge him out. And then dodge him out. Don't re-roll. A user reroll, no, then he's given two assists. No, so just fine. He's getting hit by Mighty Blow, isn't he? So I'd rather leave more guys on the ground, I can pick them up next turn. No. Oh. Dan has Wish Shop as well, wow. Like, it is obviously really good for Skaven, but, uh, but the problem is that you just take more attrition, don't you? Yeah, the game book. <laughs> Can't believe he didn't get sent off. Made a stun, which was good, actually. This is fucking tough, isn't it? I needed, I needed more removals really than one. And getting my ball carrier, like you know, lo losing my ball carrier for an unskilled line orb. If that cast had come on this guy or somebody else, it might have been a bit different. But yeah, that's the thing. Like it's it's obviously good. It's obviously good having a wizard every game for yourself. This game is obviously well, not every game, half the games. Is obviously really good, but uh, oh, is this just two dice with tackle on the ball? It looks like it, doesn't it? Nah, yeah, I can't get two dice with tackle. You can't even get two dice, can you? You can get two dice, but not with tackle. Playing pretty shit here. Um. And not just that, not just that you're giving them a whiz, if they've already if they're already gonna get a wizard, oh yeah, you can get two dice but without a tackle. Nice going for the ball, doesn't he? I 
sure likes going for the ball. That's good information for, for the rest of the... <laughs> in future games when I play him. But, you know, it's already fucking cost me this game, I guess. Oh. Good bit of stand firming. No, yeah, it's obviously great for winning games. Like, the, the Wizard Stadium is obviously great for winning games. But, I just don't like that you take more attrition. That's the end, which, so, you know, obviously you, you've taken loads of attrition with your team. Which isn't, isn't really surprising. Dodge blitz him and then run around over this side. Blitz him. Block him, blitz him. Blitz him. Run down. Maybe dodge away, blitz him. I think this guy's in a good spot anyways. Don't care about dodging away from him. I guess I could do some kind of shady blitz at the end. Maybe that's this is the way that that frees me up a uh, zombie as well, doesn't it? Scary. Scary dices with a ball. But then what can I do? Don't just want to stand up and get banged on with these guys. I guess there's no option. <laughs> that wolf is a prick. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, just potato. I mean, he was 75% and knocked me down. He can base the ball here, but he can't hit it. Hans Meyer played 24 games over the week. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I'd play fast and make more mistakes, clients. I always play shit the first game of the day, so. This is not. Not the matchup I wanted first game. <laughs> yes, squeak sandwich is what I would take for agile teams, yeah. Just take less attrition. Because you you want to be you want a pitch invasion, don't you? Really, as agile teams. Oh yeah, maybe I just shouldn't play Blood Bowl. Maybe I should just play a different game first day, and I might be all right. Oh yeah, he freezes this guy up. Yeah, that was a clever play, wasn't it? Maybe he can get a hit here. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. He's good at hitting the ball, isn't he? 
And this one's got tackle, two dice with tackle here, but it's double GFI and it's uh, a dodge and a GFI. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, double. So it's four GFIs and a dodge. So he's going to be pretty lucky to get the power here. I, think. I mean, I'm sure he will. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm sure he will. But I think he'll be a bit lucky when he gets it. I mean, you, you know how to double one the first GFI, right? But it was still a good player to do it. Yeah, it was a good spot. It was a good spot. I'll give him that. That was a good spot. I think I probably just want to blitz with a ball, don't I? Yeah. Um. Stand on the end zone line, he can't get me. I mean, he did need he did need quite the sequence for that to work. He didn't have tackle on it, and he had to make four two pluses and a three plus. Did make a guide on stadiums, yeah. And in that guide, I say wizards. Are, wizard stadiums really good for uh, for those fucks, Skaven. But the problem is, you take more attrition. And uh, there's Crystal Hunter winning all his games, but taking more attrition. So. <laughs> one GFI didn't double one it. Outrageous. So I don't hit right. He can't. Oh, he can hit him, but he can't hit the ball. So I don't. I don't hit this four plus dodge away here to get me two dice because I don't want him hit by mighty blow, and then I don't want to do a one dice to it because a one dice I probably would just get a skull like I did. So I quite like that play there of the of the fucking zombie dodge. No, fair enough, Crystal Hunter. But you will take more attrition than if you didn't have it, though. That's the that's the thing, isn't it? Hello, Fan Fox. And you might still have taken Death due to the Wizard, because you know, just the fact that he's yeah. There you go. I gave away a block because of that fucking hit. Hopefully, he regens. Of course not. Um. While while the wizard may not have directly caused a cas, the fact that you played around it or you know whatever, like it's going to affect the games a bit, isn't it? Even if it doesn't directly cause a cas, you might have done something differently, or you know to recover after a wizard, you might have had to some like like that have to get a wolf blocked. I mean, every time a wolf's blocked, he's dead. That's that's fucking standard, isn't it? Nothing says Blood Bowl like you get your ghoul blocked once, he gets cast. You get your wolf blocked like what, twice or something, gets cast. Knocked over once. Yeah. That's dodge, eh? Yeah, that's true. As long as you're the higher TV team, Crystal Hunter, yeah. I mean, if you're the lower TV team, you're just giving them a wizard as well, aren't you? Which kind of sucks. Right. So that was a fucking costly drive, wasn't it? But hopefully, can get a... 
Oh. Hopefully it's a draw at least now, isn't it? I think I've been a bit unlucky that he uh, he cast the two positionals that he hit, basically. But does he have? He's got a reserve as well, so I did nothing. An unskilled line, or whereas I've got zombies instead of an edge four and, and a movement eight, edge three guy. Yeah, it has pros and cons. Yeah, it's still better for winning games, isn't it, Jelly? Obviously, was you know, Skaven that get more wizards than normal are better at winning games. I'm sure it's a net positive for Skaven and Wizard and Skaven and Wood Elves having the wizard in play. I'm sure it is. But yeah, it obviously just adds more uncertainty and stuff. He can't hear me. It just adds more uncertainty and stuff, doesn't it? That's the thing. Glorious. Good dags. DYA like dags. Dags. What? Yeah, dags. Oh, dogs. Sure, I like dags. <laughs> I like caravans more. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. Great reference there, Henry Judas. Thank you very much. I like dags. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the first things uh, Statham was in as well, wasn't it? Pretty much. And, uh, yeah, Snatch, yeah. Thank you very much, and thanks for resubbing as well. Glorious. Thanks for staying fantastic. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I wouldn't take it, Vlinic. I'm not, I'm not saying that I would take it. I just think it would make them better at, even better at winning. Ah, yes, classic. The fucking zombie. The zombie fucking regens, doesn't he, eh? Fucking werewolves, like, no thanks. No thanks, mate. I'm gonna stay out, but the zombie's like, sure, let's go. Let's go, I'll regen that. No worries. The best part I thought was when you, uh. Was when you <laughs> you just put <laughs> you think when like when the oh, you know when the, you're in a moment of crisis and you think you're gonna do something but in the end you just freeze and pull a funny face. <laughs> that was great. It was pretty true. It's gonna be tough to solve. Isn't he? He's got so much guard. Four guard, more strength, loads of mighty below. Happy to, happy if I can fucking squeak a draw out of it. <laughs> to the arrested development. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah, the wolf knew he fucking got out of, he got out of dodge, didn't he? Yeah, that was it. The wolf was like, he'll fucking play a possum. He's a weir possum, not a werewolf. Or a were. Where if you want. I say weir, but then I've got been mocked for it. Yeah, yeah, the other wolf's pretty good. Mm, that's not good when I'm getting banged on. The other wolf is resting. This next game.
It's not even the guys with Mighty Blow. He's got all these Mighty Blow guys. They're not even doing anything. It's just rando blocks. Taken four cars here, total. Oh, that's okay, isn't it? It's like home field advantage through the playoffs, like, uh, like in the NFL. Okay, so if I've hit him from here, he's got to stand up, and I need a guard there. Then when I push him to there, I need another assist here. One, two, three. Pretend we're trying to stop him scoring now. <laughs> That's it. That's enough for pretending. Pretending I'm trying to stop him scoring. Yeah, exactly, Jello. Yeah, yeah that, that's the problem with Macro. Yeah. That is the problem with Macro. Yeah, to be fair, I've got a bribe as well. So. No, Skaven don't count as a hybrid one. <laughs> I mean, hybrid. Can, I mean, they, Skaven can outbash people as well, but you know they're an agility team because they're actually good at agility. People just call hybrid teams teams that are shit at agility. Basically, <laughs> can't bash and can't. Skaven can do both. Skaven are hybrid in the sense they can they can outbash chaos and they can outball elves. Most people call humans etc. hybrid because they can't outbash one and they can't outball anyone. <laughs> The problem is just is just one of strength, you know. It really is. They're, they're, they're down strength and guard against all real real bash teams. So that's not really a good place to be, is it? Glorious. Thanks very much, Papa Smurf 1978. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Thanks very much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. We want to hit this guy and foul this guy again, but now I'd really like guard in there. Hit him. And if I have guard in there, then I've got two guards, so I can blitz him. But this is really letting him score now, which is uh, you know maybe. Maybe not the smartest thing to do. Don't want to give up the serve. No, it's probably not a serve. Yeah, it's a serve. 
pushes him to there, pushes him twice, he serves. Don't want to do that. He can come back over the middle. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. At least I've got a guard next to the wolf, so. Yeah, it is indeed. It is wolf bark. Yeah, that is that is the real problem with the playoffs and the problem with the bash teams, particularly bash and hybrid, if you like teams, is for the for the ladder you you're facing claw all the time. Like you know, bash teams all the time, whether it's claw or rocks, you're fighting bash all the time, and then come the playoffs, you've got to be elves. Whereas elves just take the same skills whether they're playing bash or elves, you know? So it's like, it's a real, it's a real uh, pain in the ass. For bash teams winning the top tournament. Really. The lodge step tackle, mighty blow, diving tackle. Maybe fend. I don't know, I can't think of him. <laughs> Whatever you think you need the most, you know, you're the one who's played with him since he's been 76. So for the last 100 star player points that you've got, whatever you've wanted the most in those, 70, in those games where he's taken 100 games, 100 star player points. <laughs> so you'll know better than me. Fen keeps him alive longer from the pommers and stuff, doesn't it? No, he's at 76. Ah, okay. When you said his final skill, I mean, you were being realistic in that you won't get another one rather than it's actually his final skill. Fair enough. Can't hit with a, with him, can I? Well, I can hit with him. Should I try and care about the ball now or not? Could hit him, but he's got to jump up. Could hit him. I mean, this is a really nice one to hit. It's just the same as the one that I've been focusing on. So I could leave him out a bit and go for this one. He can block him. Hit with a dirty player now, anyway, can't I? I guess. Oh, I could hit with him. No, he's got. Oh, yeah, he could. I could hit with him. Oh, wow. <laughs> Big boss orc. Get fucked with you, stupid. With the shield. Ah, oh, brilliant. I'm so funny. I'm so funny. I amuse myself. Right, now we can get back to try to stop him. <laughs> Just try to stop him scoring again. <laughs> After making a Kaz and a KO. Huge turn. Yeah, obviously he's going to do the block, 
the block in for another mighty blow hit and uh, huge damage foul. So that was a bit shit to expose, uh, expose that goal was a bit shit. But now he's in a bit of he's in a bit of trouble, isn't he? He's in a bit of he's in a bit of a pickle, to be fair, when it comes to the ball. <laughs> that's true in Pro Augustus, yeah, that's true. Oh, is he letting me hit the ball here? No. Whew, risky though. I should get a slam in with everything, don't I, next time? That even freed up a zombie there, that block. That actually freed up a zombie, wow. Alright, we've got a lot of... A lot of stuff can happen this turn. He can block him. He needs a power, though. He could just block him, and then he's stranded, and maybe he blocks him as well. Get two, three, two zombies, so I can get one, two, three, four, five players onto his six. Which is alright, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he, no, no, to be fair, it's development, he's got a, he's got a bribe, so it's, uh, I really don't like making this one, but I think it's got better payoff on a push. It, I mean, I don't think it has better payoff on a push. It absolutely certainly has better pay up on a push. Okay. So, the guard could go in there and I could blitz him down. Guard. This is actually a bit annoying where the dirty player is, isn't it? Could tag him. One, two. Uh, it's all a bit and uh, all a bit complicated. One, two, three, four, five. Could just two dice him. That seems really fucking lame though, doesn't it? He could go there for the guard and then bring him in, but then he's the fowler. I, I'm exposing my dog, I don't like that. for the foul, I guess. <laughs> Not really trying to stop him scoring. Could have been so much better that turn if if the first one had been a power really, or if that had been a power. Both powers I think would have let me do more interesting things. One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. He can't score this turn with his thrower, so he's going to be a little bit limited in how he protects the ball. Yeah, leap, <laughs> leap certainly. Uh Certainly an, an option with Agility 4. This is into a 1 dice. Yeah. That's the power. Like the Wrestle Ghouls behind him. He's in a bit of a pickle here, I think. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I didn't say I'd get it, Fash. I just said it's uh, it's not it's not a terrible option, is it? Saying something isn't terrible isn't isn't the same as saying I'm definitely con considering this as a serious choice. Yeah, agility four leap isn't bad. Yeah, agility five leap. I'd I'd take it then. I'd take it on an agility five one for sure. Yeah, I'd take kick no I, I would take kick no Come on, Sentinel. Yeah, he kind of had to foul him, didn't he? especially with a. Right. He's just too dangerous to, to not foul. Wow, huge. Huge. No, it's not, is it? No, I've still got two dice on the ball here. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Hmm. Let's do this first. Yeah. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six. could go GFI to there and then this guy could go in there so I've got to make this block this 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 block is too good really one two three four five six seven eight. yeah this block here is too good to not make because now this guy comes in here and I've got a much better angle on the blitz haven't I Still having dodge saves me square movement, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, he's got fend. Oh, well, I still had to. I still had to have the frenzy. You know, I still had to play around the frenzy trap, didn't I? So it doesn't make me wrong. <laughs> but uh, disappointing. Surf there. I guess now he's, he hasn't got a black orc anywhere. Maybe I should have put the, that guy in there. This guy should have been here, maybe. No, I still had to push him that way, and I guess he was always going to find me. GFI's twice to score, doesn't he? I, think. Mm -hmm. I mean, he might not, but I think he probably will. Because I don't... It's going to be... Well, it's not that hard to protect it, I guess. Yeah, it's not that hard to protect, is it? It kind of needs to be a bit lucky, though, I think. Wow, he gets the one dice pal. <laughs> Fucking dirty dingo. <laughs> that helps, doesn't it? Getting a one dice cast. Oh, and if he'd scored there, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been good for him. But more payoff, I guess, getting the pal. Dirty Dingo rolling all the dice. Rolling all the dice. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. It seems a bit shit to one die something. Let's make this work first anyway. So he can GFI, then he can power him. And I can run through this way. This would be a 4 plus 3 plus. But obviously it would be great to get him in there. Like that would be an outrageously good to get him in there. But I really don't want to uh, roll the dice to get him in there. I think I'm going for this play here. Wolf doing things. The wolf doing things play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then double ball base. Seems a bit shit. I don't really want to do that. You know, all of this just to one dice him. Seems shit, doesn't it? <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> oh, fuck. Can't re roll it. Next up is Juggernaut, no. <laughs> mm. Kinda surprised you used the Blitz to hit him, I thought it would have just blocked him and then Blitz the, uh, blitz the Wolf. I mean, it's okay, obviously. A little bit surprised. I guess he'll dodge him in the foul or something, I don't know. So. One dice on the ball then. Eh? Right, one dice on the ball. <laughs> um, and if I power him, what even happens? Nothing good. So yeah, I guess he did the right play. I could run around this way, 3 plus 4 plus, to get one dice, but then it's harder. Well, I can't cancel this assist, can I? I'd much rather power him to here and get surfed than power him to here when he just picks up the ball. I guess he could base them and then he could base him and then he could base him, and then he could base him, but he's still going to be left with somebody free anyway. I guess I've got to do it. No real option, is there? I can't just not. I can't just lose, can I?
And this doesn't really achieve a whole lot, does it? I guess if I GFI and dodge, then... No, he's just, it's still just a straight pickup. But he might be scared to make blocks for us. One in nine, anyway. Yeah, all for nothing, probably, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think he wanted to risk uh, risk having to use a rail before the pickup. I sure wouldn't have. I'd use my dodge and I'd use my reroll, so it would have been an option, but I would have just been two dice and killed anyway. <laughs> If I hadn't used dodge and the reroll, maybe, but. Jeez, wait. Who, who scored? I didn't see who scored. Hunt you, Tom God. What a shit, what a shit, what a shit wrestler for a shit player. <laughs> Nothing could be more perfect for an orc thrower than the fucking honky top, honky fucking Tom man, holy shit. Yeah, dodge has been used on the dive. I'm pretty sure. Means congrats, doesn't it? Congratulations. Right, kind of got a chance of a one turn, but missing the ghouls is shit, isn't it? And the other, and the other guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI to hit him. Or I can just block somebody first. Just block him first. And then, uh. Go up to do a push there. Push into him. Which. Pushes the wolf. Pushes the wolf into this square, which has just been vacated. Um, and then somebody pushes him. And then he pushes him into here. And then... Oh, this would be this guy pushing him. But I don't know. Let's just do this. Too much thinking hurts my brain. Oh god. <laughs> right. I think I have to go this side, right? He can go one, two, three, four. He goes to here and then one, two, three, four, five, six. He pushes him to there. Yeah, all right. So he he's definitely blocking three dice. He's definitely going to here. He's definitely going to here. So the first block puts him to there, and the second block puts him to there. And. Uh, He's already eight. So the first block puts him to here, second block puts him to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, and he could blitz him. I don't know, I think probably dodging through is just as easy anyway. Three, three, two, isn't it? It's not that bad of dodge. Um, the fact he's got Frenzy, the, the one for scoring, is a good right. So he blocks there. He goes here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe just do the handoff straight away. Block him to there.
this just seems the easiest way of doing it. Probably did make, make things different, a bit different. I probably should have just done, gone for the handoff first. In a tackle zone. I, ideally, I'd like to clear up tackle zones, though, wouldn't I? I don't know if it's better to use the blitz for the uh I don't know if it's better to use the blitz for the uh or just the dodges. Cause he'd just need a push both times, wouldn't he? And I couldn't back out of it. So, handoff. I think the G. I think the GFIs were probably better with a reroll than making the handoff and attack as well. But uh, not surprising there. Making a GFI running a double one. I mean, I made some GFIs in the game, so <laughs> can't complain. Ended up making more arm breaks. I guess made some fouls. Fifty-five lost to forty-four. Um. Yeah, that's a pretty good ratio for me, really. Five and uh, five and three, pretty good. Yeah. Oh, pit pad, GG. Our first half was terrifying. I thought I was going to lose. Actually, I thought you were going to go for a quick score, and I was going to lose. But then, uh, obviously, after, especially when I abandoned defending. <laughs> but then I thought I could have got more pressure than I did at the end. <laughs> I don't think it was really particularly unlucky, was it? I think it was. I'd have liked to have rolled the dice to score the one turn, obviously, but it was it was a tough game, wasn't it? Thirteen men's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I didn't even get anything from it, did I? I didn't even get anything from the abandoning the defence. But I thought, I thought, I thought if I abandon the defence, then you might, you might push for a score, and I might be able to score because I've got a fucking edge fall guy. But then, oh god, I've got too many. Um. But then I thought, realistically, you know, if if you push, if you maybe I could, you know, I thought. I thought I probably could score, score back, because um, even with few players, got a movement, fucking eight blodge guy. But yeah, tough game, tough game. Well played. Uh, I liked all the hits in the ball, particularly the the freeing the frenzy guy. Um, but you know, it was it was wasn't that uh, wasn't that likely to to work was it with four GFIs and a dodge but I wouldn't have been surprised if it had worked and against dodge but anyway right thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic